Finally now in this video we can start looking at the maths that comes with statistics. So in this video we're going to start looking at graphing data and we're going to do that for the next few videos. Uh, we have to look at pie charts, bar charts, stem and leaf plots and then histograms. Uh, so this video we're just going to be looking at pie charts. So what are the advantages of pie charts? Pie charts are good for categorical data. So the example we're going to use is um, cars on a road, so the different colors. Uh, cars on a road and we're going to do a quick example about um, how to plot the different colored cars on a road with a pie chart. So let's say that these are the numbers that we get after counting a number of cars going by on the road. So we have 33 red, 15 blue, 50 silver and then two green cars. Okay, So this is what we have to represent all of this on a pie chart and this is the method we're going to do. So first of all you calculate the total number of cars so you just add them all together 33 plus 15 plus 50 plus 2 and you'll find that the total number is equal to 100 okay now we know that there are 360 degrees in a circle as well and a circle is obviously the shape of our of our part of our pie chart so now we need to find out how many degrees are in each color or each portion how many degrees we'll say per portion and the way we do that is uh, I'll do it in red here we're gonna have say red divided by the total multiplied by 360 degrees is equal to that's the amount of degrees that's going to represent the red slice so the number of red cars which is 33 divided by 100 multiplied by 360 will give us the amount and we do that for for red we do it for blue, silver, and green. Okay, and then we can find out how many degrees are in each portion of the, I guess, the pie, um, and then we can draw that on it to make a pie chart. So to do that, I'm just going to go down and make another little table. So this is what we end up with. So I just wrote them out quickly. So we have I'll go down um, column by column. So we're going to have red here. It has 33 cars. So we say 33 divided by the total times 360 will give us uh, 111 degrees. So you can check that in the calculator and I've had to round some of the numbers because you ended up with decimal places so I just rounded this um, to 111 and rounded this one to 7 so it'll all add up. Um, anyway then the next column is blue so blue we have 15 cars 15 divided by 100 multiplied by 360 will give us 54 degrees. Silver 50 uh, 50 over 100 gives us 180 degrees and then lastly green with two cars will have seven degrees of the uh, of the pie so the last step then is to, to just draw out your circle and to um, split it up into the different the different amount of degrees you see here so the circle I'm obviously not going to draw a perfect circle um, but that'll do so put a little dot in the middle and then just do them one at a time so start with the easiest one which in this case is going to be the silver cars so it's going to draw a straight line down. We know 180 degrees is exactly half. Um, and so then I can just color in that all of this is white. Then next we will do, sorry, I've just noticed a mistake that I've made there. It's actually 119 degrees, not 111, my mistake. Um, but anyway, that's the next one that we're going to do. We're going to do 119 degrees, which you can kind of round off as about 120. And so it's going to be bigger than 90. So I'm going to draw a dotted line here. We know it's going to be bigger than that. Uh, and it's going to be 90 plus about 30 degrees. So I'm going to draw a line like that here. And we're going to say that the red chunk is about 119 degrees and everything that's in there. Uh, and then lastly, we just have the blue and the green. So I'm just going to draw the blue as having the majority. And then the green is going to be the last, just 7%. So obviously this isn't an accurate... Um, pie chart and you you won't be able to draw really an accurate pie chart in the exam and um, if they do ask you to draw one which is quite unlikely it's going to be just a rough one and they will have some lines that you can make it a little bit more accurate but the most important thing really is that you understand how to read a pie chart and um, and how to convert this table here so all these numbers into this table down here so you can find out the relative degrees or the portion of each um, of each category so yeah, that's all we have for pie charts at the moment. I um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. Uh, share the video with friends. And next video, we're going to be looking at bar charts. So thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.